What's up guys, Douglas from DougsterBob.com here and today we're going to be talking about the difference in single wall rims versus double wall rims. Does it really matter? We're going to find out. So the reason that this video came up, actually big shout out to Mike and Dan's comp for hooking it up with some shirts and some other things. I just decided to wear it in the video. Uh, I'm hyped on it. We, we've talked about playing around with getting some stuff from them to do a giveaway for you guys. The only way, so it's not happening yet, but the only way you're going to know about the giveaway is if you subscribe and you hear me talk about it in a later video. I never start the video off with like telling you to subscribe, but that's the only way you're going to find out. So do that if you care. Anyway, here's the thing guys. Double wall rims are very important and a lot of 2022 bikes are coming out without any double wall rims and I hate giving these bikes a bad like bad score bad review but it's almost necessary because I genuinely feel like if you don't get double wall rims it's not going to last like it should it's it's just not going to be as good as it could be so I want to explain the difference and let you know why it's so important to have those double wall rims as you start to progress so let me show you a couple different rims I'm going to go grab them hold on so I have this single wall rim and apparently holding a, a thing in your video makes it a better video so I'm gonna hold this during the video but basically you're gonna notice a few different things the biggest thing being the construction of the rim it's it looks like this so focus on this come on I gotta hide my face so that it'll it'll uh, focus but you can see the nipples of the spokes or the nipples you know are poking out right here they are not embedded into the rim and that's because there's only one piece of metal holding you know this whole rim is just one piece of metal right here uh, the double wall rim has a second wall like this so there will be two and I have one right here all right this is my old Sun Rhino light one and let me show you the the valve hole you should be able to see it but basically see there how oh, oh. anyway you can see through there and there's different chambers and so these chambers make it so that it it just has two walls and the double walls is just gonna be twice as strong as that single wall so this is so important because here's the thing when you do a 360 and you're spinning and your rim goes into the ground you know it pushes in there because that momentum spinning around you only have a single wall rim that's all that's holding it back from bending that strength on this rim is reliant upon this right here and there's not much keeping it strong so when you, when that pressure hits it's gonna be easily pushed the wrong direction with the double wall rim this thing's twice as strong okay so when you're doing that spin let me tell you these will still break I'm not saying these are indestructible by any means but as you spin and as you progress they're gonna be able to take up well essentially twice as much of a beating the other thing that that's going on here is double sidewall rim. I hate this. Sunday Lightning rims, which are out on the Sunday X and the Sunday Forecaster, are double sidewall. Just like a lot of Flies Complete bikes, Flies Complete bikes are double sidewall. They're not necessarily double wall. And the double sidewall is that, well, this is the sidewall right here. It's essentially wider and thicker than normal rims. So they try and say, yeah, it's it's kind of a double wall and it really isn't. Like it's not even close because the, the construction of the double wall is in that center center seam so that's going to keep it just so much stronger and hold it together another issue you're going to get with single wall rims is with these nipples poking out like this you're going to have you're more susceptible to pinch flat so your rim strip can get worn down you know your rim strip can not work as good and so then your actual tube is pushing on those nipples and you're going to get a pinch flat now of course it can still happen with double wall rims but they're embedded down in here in these holes so you almost never have that happen with a double wall rim unless your spoke poke through your rim strip which happens sometimes not gonna lie it happens to me a lot there's an easy way around it okay now some of those really really expensive rims have multiple chambers made up inside of the rim now this one just has the base wall which would be this right here and then the double wall which is this other one inside here but some companies break those into chambers so it would be split and then there's a chamber on the right a chamber on the left and a chamber on the middle and that just causes a lot more cohesion for the rim and holds everything together better so this was like a the sun rhino light rims like 20 30 dollars i still love them because they're light they're actually welded i was reading welded instead of pinned which is another thing i'll get into in a second you can get like those 80 dollar rims and the big difference even though they're both still double wall is that those 80 dollar rims those really expensive ones have a lot more love put into them and a lot more like attention to detail so they're going to have more chambers they're going to have better construction they're going to be welded they're going to have all of those things where this one is just just a double wall it's a bare minimum double wall so it's definitely a step up from this guy and a huge
huge step up from double sidewall, there's a step up above this one. Okay, now the welded verse pinned thing is essentially how the rim comes together. So I'm honestly not sure, but I'm gonna assume that these rims are made in like a flat strip and then they're rolled together. And let me find the seam here. Here's the seam. So you can almost see the seam. And then the way that this seam is made up is that it gets put together with two different, there's a pin in these little holes and then the seam links up together like that. And so it's not the strongest, like you could probably take off all the spokes and pull it apart if you're if you're Hulk or Superman. But because of that, these rims fall apart a lot easier. And you can even see here on this guy, somebody did like a, I don't know, cased a curb, but it's all dinged up right there. It's all dented. That's kind of sad. But anyway, this one is welded. So let me find where, here's the seam here. And you won't even be able to see it because it's seamless, <laughs> but it's, it's just got a lot better construction. So it's not really gonna break right here at this seam because it's welded together, obviously. Last question is how, what's the best route to build a rim or build a wheel? So this one is a complete wheel. Okay, it's cheap, got the, just the cheapest spokes. This thing weighs a million pounds. And then that other one is just, the rim, just the double wall rim. But the best thing to do, I'm really against complete wheels and you know just buying them like that because you can get them piece by piece you can get hubs that are perfect for you whether it's a free coaster left hand drive free coaster right hand drive a cassette titanium spindle like or titanium axle you can do so much with it when you order it that way you can get uh, normal spokes you could get straight gauge spokes you could get double butted spokes you could get titanium spokes and then you have all those rim choices you can get your double wall multi-chamber welded seam rim or you can just get a bare minimum double wall rim. There's a lot of different things you can do when building up your custom wheel so that you don't run into issues later. Look, a lot of you guys are probably buying complete bikes with single wall rims and that's fine. That's what this is, but let's see if I can spin it. Oh my God, it doesn't even spin. You see that hop? Okay. Hold on, let's spin it. Can you see that? Look at that thing jump. Okay. And that's because this rim's a hunk of junk. This is the rim, <laughs> the rims that are coming on like some complete bikes are probably better than that one, but that is a very basic single wall rim. Not very good, hunk of junk. And that's what you're gonna run into as you progress. So my biggest thing, I don't wanna say this to like make you look and go, oh my God, I was gonna get this bike, now I'm not. Get the bike, get a bike, start riding, get into the sport, that's, that's perfect. Just know that as you progress and become a badass at BMX, you're gonna have to do some upgrades. And I want you to really consider double wall rims being your first upgrade. I think it's the, gonna be your best option. If you want to buy some double wall rims, I'm gonna link my favorite in up here, up here, I don't know which side it goes on, but I'm gonna link it up here and you can just click through there and check out my favorite double wall rims and get yourself some because those are gonna be solid upgrades. All right, you crazy BMX riders, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out with me on the channel. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can learn more about this partnership with Dance Comp and see if you're able to win anything. Peace.